Um, and what kinds of things do we do, like, do you do to make yourself feel like a man? Um, just... Relaxing with other guys, I guess, is the... Cool. Uh, I guess, by what you've accomplished. <laughs> by what you've accomplished? Yeah, I myself. And what kind of things do you do to make yourself feel masculine? Uh, he is work. Work? work out. <laughs> work out? Hang out with other guys. <laughs> okay. What would your uh, definition be of masculinity? Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, me personally, I feel like a man, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things that ring true about our typical definitions, and then there's, of course, a lot of things that are... I guess damaging, um, but a male, rather than our typical um, view that men should not display emotions and things like that, it's more like, you know, they should have the strength to display, but also the maturity to, you know, uh, restrain themselves in the certain situations. But then again, I mean, almost, I feel like most of the things that I would say about masculinity, I would probably say about good femininity as well. But, so, I think the thing that sets them apart, I guess, is the expectation that a man has, um, stronger, is stronger physically, right off the bat. I mean, you know, maybe there's a few women out there that are stronger than the average man, but, you know. How do I know I'm a man? Yeah. I mean, I could show you, but I think that's illegal. <laughs> okay, what kind of things do you do to feel masculine? Wow, this must have been I use the restroom standing up. <laughs> okay. Well... <laughs> no. Um... Anatomy. <laughs> anatomy. Really, a lot of it... Um... Just... Really, it's not, like... It's just knowing who I am and knowing that being a man is central to that. Okay. So. Because I lead. You lead? lead? Okay. What kind of what kind of things do you do to make yourself feel masculine? Yeah, this is not um play sports, do physical activity, work, hard work. Okay. You know, I find that, you know, there's an opportunity to do something difficult, you know, like moving refrigerators or something like this, cutting down trees, something like that, burning large piles of brush, <laughs> you know, something like that, you know, even, even if it's hard work, I enjoy doing it just because it's difficult. And according to our society, how do you know you're a man? How do I know I'm a man? Mm -hmm. According to our society. Uh, I, well, for one, I feel, uh, like... I feel like providing for my significant other. Okay. Uh, and up until recent modern times, it's usually been that the male provides for the family, so I guess that that would be uh, closest. Okay. How would well, you? Well, anytime I'm around Mary, I feel like <laughs> for that right now. That's for true. I mean, I think I think being I'm not sure if I separate being masculine from being human when I'm doing it. But uh huh. I mean, you know, in retrospect, I think. Uh, you know, any time I can affect positive change, I feel good about myself as a person, much less as a, as a man. So okay. I think that's probably my my biggest goal in being masculine or being human is to affect positive change. Okay. I guess I would say someone that is attracted to females, to the opposite mm -hmm. sex, someone that is strong mm -hmm. and um, kind of like the more dominant one. hard because my wife and I do lots of things together that I enjoy doing that I've only previously done with men so it's sort of gotten rid of a lot of them because okay. I was in Boy Scouts growing up uh -huh. so it became very different like, you know we did all the backpacking and that kind of stuff with that so I used to think all that was mostly like a male activity and then my wife really likes doing all that stuff so that kind of right. ruined that <laughs> but, um, things like hunting and fishing and Okay.
because um, I stand up when I go pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten no, that more times than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because um, that's who God made me. So. That's who God made you? Okay, great. Um, what, what kind of activities do you do when you're feeling like I'm being masculine, I'm being a man? Um, I guess probably sports a lot. Um, so that's on my birth certificate. <laughs> um, and I, you know, um, like girls. You know. uh-huh. And, uh, I don't know, I'm, it's, you know, just like the guy thing, like, I'd, I'd like to, you know, like, go hunting or something, and, you know, into, like, you know, all the, ah, stuff. <laughs> Yeah. No. Okay. I read the science books. I saw the pictures. Uh, what sorts of things do you do to feel masculine? Uh, I think if I was younger, I'd probably answer that a lot differently. Now, I don't think so much about, I don't feel a need to try to prove my masculinity. It's, um, you know, I'm not like one of these macho guys. I don't smash beer cans on my head and stuff like that <laughs> so uh, you know it's just I think a lot of with men in general mm-hmm. their a lot of their self-esteem is comes from their careers and, you know are they providing for their family okay. you know those types of things 